Hi, my name is Akande Alexander Oluwatayo. I play for Kichi Football Club in Hong Kong. I've been playing professional soccer for seven years in Hong Kong. And before then, I've been playing in, in the UK, semi-professional, for about three years as well. I found out about revolution of uh, physical therapy. Uh, when I got injured, my brother was making some research on where to go for rehab. So because I told him I really want to get back to my you know, my standard, the way I play, or better than the way I played before. So he made some research, spoke to some friends here in the state. So we came, we came by Abby's video. So he saw that he came to me to the room and he was asking me about, uh, he has found something for me. So I saw the video and it was, I was really impressed about the video and also I saw the doctor, that was Dr. O'Neill. He was talking about you know the injury, the sports injury, about ACL, and there was something in me that just said this is the right place for me. So that's why I'm here. Oh, uh, my ACL injury I called the last training before the game on a Sunday. So uh, the last training was on Saturday before our game on Sunday. So what actually happened was like uh, it was 15 minutes before the end of the training. So I was given the ball. Uh, from the midfielder which is my friend Matt Lamb and I was trying to beat the last defender so he ran into me so I was trying to cut so mistakenly his leg uh, I stepped on his leg and he moved his leg with power you know so I fell down so I twisted my knee so the pain was so intense like you could feel like there was like a hammer hitting you on your, on your head so I was I you know, I was screaming and I couldn't move my leg. So I felt like they have damaged something in my leg for the first time. So I knew it was serious. So so that's how I injured my uh, my ACL. Okay, my expectations are, you know, by the time I'm done for five weeks for my first visit, I want to be better. I want to be able to like run, you know, at least even though 100%. I want to be able to walk without no pain any longer on my knee and my ACL is being you know stronger and my cord you know so because definitely I'm gonna know um, if they're good and from two days already of Spain yesterday was a very good start because I won't lie to you it was just like my day I, I was limping a lot but after the four section uh, there was a lot of change so there's a lot of changes already so which i know during my five weeks uh, it's gonna get better so definitely i know it's gonna be good no i've never 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 in my life uh, my my injuries love maybe tired <laughs> tiredness uh when, when you know you play you run too much in a game and you're tired on uh, your hamstring you're tired and you know the coaches we are just gonna give me a few few you know a few days rest or you know, half, half a day training. That's all. I never, I've never broken down for like six months without no training or games in my whole entire, you know, you know, as a professional. So, but um, I take these as, you know, as a man. You know, it's, you know, it make me. It's not. It's gonna make me stronger as a person as well and as an athlete. So, and I uh, really, I, I would say maybe because. I didn't, you know, I didn't make my legs stronger. One of the reasons. So that's why I could, I, I told the ACL. But now, when I had the injury, and I made some research as well, I, I can tell, like you know, I was lacking some things. So, but now I know what to do, you know. So to keep the legs stronger always, and the cord, and all the legs, and all the body as well. So I was like, I was thinking, it's just gonna be like, you know. Very professional. Most doctors don't, you know, associate themselves with their client very well. Like they just keep it distant. But it's feel cool, you know. He talked to me very well. He made me understand things I don't know and what I need to know and what I need to do. So, and you know, when he tested my my ACL, you know, he was checking my legs, and you know, he had a very good impression about my leg already. So, and I know he's gonna make me better. So, I have a very good. Uh, you know, feeling about him. Yeah. Um, before the injury, uh, we had a big goal for this season for me playing because, you know, 
um, I'm a first team player and um, really it was a sad, sad news for me, myself and you know for the team. So the team was really, really devastated with the news. So, but which really affected our goal for this season. But for next season, um, my team is all behind me. They understand. I have to work hard and be better for next season and be ready for the new season. So that's why you know the goal for next season is to be a better player. You know, be a better player, and you know the team players that uh, I'm a team player. So. I'm really looking forward for, for, for the challenge again for next season. Um, the goals are try to come back stronger and also um, learn more about how you know to control your legs and also I would like to be better than what I was before. So that's why um, I see myself as I'm gonna give you know full full like you know I'm gonna delegate myself during this time you know I'm gonna work hard to become a better striker because I'm a striker then I, I'm uh, I, I have to score goals and I, I have to keep my pace you know I have to be very fast as well you know I, I plan not to lose those you know those things so that's why um, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to work hard for that and th those are my goals really